Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I'll be demonstrating the loop statement that can be written in PLSQL. A PLSQL loop statement is used when you want to perform a series of steps or uh, executable statements repeatedly for a certain number of times or until a given condition is met. A program that uses a loop construct normally uses a programmatic element that behaves as a counter. I have SQL star plus open and I'm connected to my database as the user HR. The counter that I was talking about just a few minutes ago is a variable that is declared in the declaration section and this variable would be assigned some kind of an initial value. Now let's say I want to write a program that will display the string hello on the screen five times. To do this I'm going to edit a file called loop.sql. I have notepad open and I'm going to uh, write the program. I'll explain uh, what I've written after I've finished with uh, the entire program. So I'm declaring a variable called C1 that's of number type, setting it with an initial value of 0. In the body of the program I'm going to write a loop statement followed by a DBMS output line displaying the word hello on the screen. I'm going to use a statement called the increment statement that increases the value of the variable c1 by 1. Now when I write c1 colon equal to c1 plus 1, this implies that the new value of c1 is equal to the existing value of c1 plus 1. This is then followed by end loop end uh, forward slash. So I've written a program where I've used a loop construct but what I want you to notice is that this type of a loop is a, what I would call as an endless loop. There's no way of exiting from the loop so if I run this program I should have some kind of a problem. I've saved the uh, program. I'm going to run it and notice what happens the cursor just waits over there the reason is it's got into some kind of a, an endless loop and there's no way in which it can come out until I exit SQL star plus by uh, terminating this session and I'm going to press the control C button twice and it's closed SQL star plus. I'm going to open SQL star plus once again I'm going to connect as the user HR, set server out on, I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to edit the program that I was working with which was loop. Uh, in the loop uh, construct it's very important that you issue a statement that allows you to break from the loop and this is the exit statement. I'm going to provide a condition as exit when C1 is equal to 5. So uh, what would happen is for every iteration of the loop, uh, not only will the value of uh, the word hello be displayed on the screen, but the, the variable that is behaving as the counter will keep incrementing its value. Once it has reached a certain value, which in this case is 5, uh, it's going to exit from the loop. The statement following the end loop is end, which means the program will be terminated after it has reached the value 5. Now I'm going to uh, save and exit this program and I'm going to run the program called loop. Notice that this time I get a valid output. I see the word hello being displayed 5 times and that is what I wanted my program to do. Now um, let me edit the program again and uh, what I'm going to do is show you that the word exit can be written in another way or rather the exit condition can be written in another way. It can be written as part of an if statement. Now the if statement is normally used when you are trying to uh, execute certain statements based on a given condition and the syntax is if condition then action. So here I'm saying if uh, C1 is equal to 5 which is my condition then exit. I'm going to simply write the word exit followed by the semicolon and every if must be terminated with an end if. So I've written my end if followed by the end loop. So this is another way of writing the exit statement where instead of writing exit when condition, you're writing the word exit by itself inside an if, con uh, if construct. Uh, I get uh, the same output which is displaying the word hello five times which I just wanted to show you that the exit can be written in two ways. 
Now I also want to demonstrate the fact that the initial value that was taken by the counter is not important in the program. Now let me clear my screen and uh, edit loop again and uh, notice over here that I gave the va variable c1 an initial value of 0. Now this value 0 really doesn't play an important uh, role in the program in the sense the value the the value that's taken by C1 keeps incrementing within the loop. Once it reaches a final value, it comes out of the loop. However, the value itself, 0, is not important. Let's say I change this value to 6. Now, if I set the initial value to 6, what I would then have to do is for hello to be displayed 5 times on the screen, I would have to change the corresponding final value of the variable C1 so that it counts 5 times and um, in this case it would be 11. So I'll say if C1 is equal to 11, then exit running the program again notice that I get an output which is exactly the same thing which is seeing the word hello five times on the screen. I'm now going to show you how to write a program that creates a counter. However, uh, in this program I'll show you how the initial value of the counter plays an important role in the program. Now let's say I want to write a program to find the sum of the first five numbers starting from 1. That is, I want to display the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and the sum of all those numbers is equal to 12. I'm sorry, 15. Uh, what should happen is after I execute the program, after the summation of the first five numbers is done, the output of the program should be the value 15. I'm going to edit my program called loop and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create C1 as a numeric variable and this time I'm going to set it to 1. It's important that I set it to 1. Uh, I'm going to define a variable called total. I'm going to set this variable to be a numeric variable and I'll set its initial value to be 0. Inside the loop construct, I'm going to remove the DBMS output line statement. I'm going to have the statement total is equal to total plus C1. I'm going to increment the value of the counter. I'm going to change the condition saying if it is equal to 6, then exit, uh, end if, end loop. I'm going to also include a DBMS output line statement. saying the sum of the first five numbers is followed by the value that's contained in the variable total followed by uh, the end of the program. Now in the program that I have written, the variable behaving as the counter, which is C1, is going to serve two functions. Firstly, it's going to perform its function of counting just like all the other previous programs. Secondly, it is going to hold the value that must be added for each iteration to create the total. In the first iteration, it holds the value of 1. The 1 is added to the total to give you a value of 1 because 0 plus 1 will be 1. Within the loop, the variable that behaves as the counter, which is C1, increments to 2 because 2 is not equal to 6, which is used in the if condition. It continues with the loop to generate the next value of total, which is the existing value of total, which is 1, plus the value that's held by the counter, which is 2, to become a total of 3. Once again, C1 increments to 3. This is then checked with the if condition, which where it is not equal to 6 resulting in it returning to the beginning of the loop, the total becomes existing value of total which is 3 plus current value of C1 which is 3 which to make it 6. So at, so at this point the value of total is 6. C1 once again increments by 1 to become 4. 4 is not equal to 6. It returns to the beginning of the loop. Total becomes equal to existing value of total which is 6 plus the current value of C1 which is 4 to total 10. C1 once again increments becomes 6. Uh, um, uh, uh, increments to become 5. 5 is not equal to 6. It returns to the beginning of the loop. The total becomes current value of total which is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. C1 increments to become 6. 
Now 6 is equal to 6 that means the if condition has become true and the exit condition is executed which breaks from the loop. The statement following the end loop is a DBMS output line statement that displays the current value that's held in the total which is the value 15. So the output of the program should be the sum of the first five numbers is 15. Let me save and exit the program. Run it and it's giving me an error. I have to put one more close parenthesis. Let me clear my screen, run the program again and this time I'm getting the valid output which is the sum of the first five numbers is 15. In this tutorial I explained the loop construct which is very often used when you want to perform a, a series of executable statements over and over again. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.